This is a review of Stormboard. It's an online whiteboard and collaboration tool, and I'm doing this review as part of the Visual Mapping Review Series 2014. Let's do it! The basis of Stormboard really is the ability to have you know, little sticky notes like this, and you can grab them, you can move them around, and you can add information to them. You can feel free to use sticky notes and images and video if, you're, if you have a free account. If you want to go ahead and use the stack, or if you want to actually add documents or files, then you have to go ahead and get a paid account from that point forward. I think that actually the file is only for the, the version that has the team members involved with it. Now, it's neat here. Again, you can try to grab these things. You can move them around a lot, like just dragging them back and forth. I don't know if that's going to show in there, but it, you know, it, it flips, it flutters almost like in the wind, like you're dragging it across somewhere. So let's look at a couple of the features of Stormboard. I'm just going to double click just to make it a little bit easier to look at this stuff. Uh, one is that just a shared online whiteboard. These are neat because you can get in, you can just drag stuff around, move it. People can collaborate together. And so it's a neat little way for people to get together, especially when you can't get in the same room and get some actual work done. You can see my, from my notes here, there are free versions, a $5 version, a $10 version for Teams. There's no PayPal. I'm gonna go over to the pay page right now and just give you a bit of a look. If you're interested in going with a pay plan, you can see it's fairly realistic, $5 per month per user, and with a team, $10 per month per user as well. So it's really not that, that bad compared to other types of programs that are similar to this. Let's head back into our storm. So like I mentioned here, the only thing that I think is a downside is just there's no PayPal. I like paying for a lot of things on the web with PayPal. So, you know, that's just me mostly. Uh, all right, so let's talk about a couple of the things that I like about Stormboard. The first one, you can see it right here. The free account lets you invite up to five people into the Stormboard. So really you can get a small company or a small group of people together to collaborate using this and you don't have to pay anything at all. The downside that I'm calling it a bit of a downside is that you have to have an account. So really you can't just say, hey, I love your feedback. Would you mind stopping by? It's gonna be, can you stop by and would you mind filling out some stuff and getting an account? Another thing that I like is that there's a voting system. This is really cool, especially when you've got tons of ideas all over the place. You can just say to your team, hey guys, go in and just vote. And you can give them a certain number of votes. Now the default is 10 votes. You can go into the settings and you can change it. You can see there's a box here that has a zero in it. And by clicking on that zero, I can bring up the, my voting box. And by clicking on the plus sign, you can see I'm able to add you know, one or several votes for that particular item. So you can get some votes in here. You can head over here, add a vote over there until you've used up, up to your maximum number of votes. I really like the idea of having votes and I find they work well, especially when I'm in team settings and group environments. So I like that a lot. The other thing that's pretty cool is that there's also a unique comment thread for each particular idea. So you can click on this and you can say, this is awesome and have a, have a comment listed in there. And that way you can say, I like this, I don't like this, but it gives you an idea to have a conversations about a particular idea, and maybe you can massage the idea, fix it, make it better, but that way you can take something that's a raw idea and make it something better, hopefully. That's the idea, at least. Okay, so those are a few things that I like about Stormboard. I wanna get into a, a couple of frustration points. There's one that really, it gnawed at me quite a bit, and I didn't like it, and so I'm gonna make sure I bring it up right off the bat. And I'm calling it email jacking. When I first came into Stormboard, it said, hey, if you want to get us an account, give me your email. I said, great. Entered my email, and then it goes, boom. And I got the second page telling me, oh, we need your name. We need your first name, your last name, your email, your username, your password. I'm like, really, guys? You couldn't ask for that right away? If you're going to ask for my first name and last name and all that bunch of stuff, and not get my email first and then say, oh, we also need this extra information. And a couple of sites are doing that out there right now. For me, that's a big frustration point, guys. So just something uh, FYI that I wasn't a fan of at all for that. Okay, so overall impressions. Let's get into this. I'm just gonna double click on this so it's a little bit easier to look at. As I mentioned, it's got whiteboard sharing, but if you were able to invite non-members, that would be really cool. That way you can just say to some random people, you know, hey, you know what, I know you're an expert on this, would you mind just heading over to this place and give me a couple of votes and let me know what you think about that? So having some sort of thing where it's not your, not part of your regular team, but someone who you're just trying to get a little bit of feedback from, I think that would be huge as opposed to have, making people sign up for the site. You know, if you have a lot of great ideas, it's great just to put them out here, have everyone have a look at them, put their votes in, 
you can either add messages or comments on each of the items, or it's actually a chat function up here at the top right hand side, and you can open it up and you can add messages here. So you can actually have a chat live. You wouldn't be have the audio, but you'd have a great chat feature. You can go through and make some decisions. If you're interested, you can check out the either the free version or one of the 30 day trials as well. Thanks so much for watching the video, especially all the way to the end. And I really appreciate that. Did I nail it? Did I miss something? Feel free to let me know and I'd love to chat with you about it. Until next time, I'm Kevin Oxner. We'll talk soon.